Hey guys, it's Cameron again. Um, I'm here with a big request. You guys keep asking me for it, so I, I finally got the go-ahead from the guy who gave it to me. I'm talking about my spreadsheet. The spreadsheet that I use every day now, ever since it was given to me, and I'm here to pass that givings back to you. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go over it. Now, before I jump into my computer, and just, I'm gonna walk you through literally how to enter stuff into it. It's really not that complicated. Um, how I use it, things like that. So let's just, uh, I'm gonna have a link in the description. If you don't really wanna like watch this whole thing, I would suggest watching it, not only because it helps me out for the views, but also that way you know how to use it because there are some sections that you do fill out and then there's sections that you don't touch because it does the work for you. So, all right, all right. But before we get in there, Thank you guys for all the subscriptions. I love it. If you haven't subscribed, I would encourage you to subscribe. Um, join the Facebook group, link in the description if you haven't already. There's a lot of people answering questions in there and uh, you might just learn something from, from that group. I think we're over like 330 people now, which is so insane. And uh, also, now's a great time to like the video if you haven't already. But if you don't want to, I'm not gonna force you, but I would super love it. So, um, okay. Why do you want a spreadsheet? Why do you even need a spreadsheet? Um, Cause you do. I mean, when you first start this, you get like five orders and you're like, huh, I got this. But then you get to 10 and then 20. And then before you know it, you've got a hundred orders. And somebody's, sometimes people are ordering 50 the same thing. And then when you get tracking info for it, you got no way how to find where it was to begin with to go enter in the tracking information. And if there's an issue you run into, you can go right back to the information on your spreadsheet. You can easily see how much profit you've made for the month, all that sort of stuff. Every time you've seen me be like, here, let me check my spreadsheet. This is a spreadsheet that I'm using, and this is how I keep track of my numbers. Also, if you're gonna, if you're gonna use an accountant, super easy way for you to just take this link or take this spreadsheet, download everything, and send it their way for them to handle it. They know how to use spreadsheets, if they need help, I guess you can help them because you'll have experience with it. But I mean, it's just if you want to grow, if you want to make a decent amount of money, you're going to have to also keep track of stuff. That's just how it works. So let's do this. All right, we're in my computer now. You'll see this gorgeous image of myself along with maybe a couple other images. Oh, there's only one more image on here. Okay, this. Look, I was I was obviously listening to Happily Ever After soundtrack the other day when I was making dinner. Don't worry about that. That's my own business. Okay, so anyway, here's me in this video link. You don't have to go to this video that I have pulled up. This is just for, for me to give something to you because this video doesn't exist yet until it uploads, of course. But this is like the first video I made. Anyway, you are looking for in this description, the best spreadsheet for drop shipping on Facebook Marketplace. There will be a link. Now that you're in the spreadsheet, um, I'm kind of cheating here. I went over to the profit tab immediately. You don't have, you're actually gonna see inventory tab first. Okay, so the person who gave this sheet to me, they stress the importance of this inventory tab and um, I haven't really used it still. I don't know why. The point of this inventory tab is actually really smart. It's so that you can keep track of your inventory that you list. Um, I think it's because I already had so much stuff listed that I wasn't gonna go back in and, and put it on here. But if you find an item, like I put in here, use the sheet to input items you're selling to get an idea of what the items will bring in. So, you know, this you would post like, okay. So this is one of the, the, the car that I was putting in one of my other videos that I was selling, right? in my top five video. If you haven't watched that, go back and watch that. I talk about some other stuff in there too. Uh, but one of the top five items was this. This is where you would literally copy this um, link and you put it in here for your reference later. Um, I mean, you, if you don't want it to be that long, you can do this, whatever you wanna do. All right, product name. This would be what you actually put it on Facebook as. So when, you know, if you plan on listing it somewhere, you could type in a title here. I mean, if you want to, you could just copy this if you really want to. Um, I'd probably just put something like that. Um, also, if you want to get around, if you're just not really used to Excel and you do something stupid like that and you're like, oh God, this just has this crazy font. There's two things you can do. You can technically hit format and then clear formatting and then it will 
do that or you can just click a thing and then go here instead of typing in here paste it there and it will paste it without any kind of formatting just so you know all right this you can put what it's going to cost you this item costs $6.99 boom it's going to automatically put what tax is for you and then you can put what you list it as so let's say um, like what I did is I listed it for $10 with $6 shipping um, so I just for the sake of numbers we're actually going to put both those numbers together so $16 total and this will give you a really high tax rate at the total amount of the Facebook fee and everything and it's going to tell you all right it's going to be about 50% profit so it's just to give you a rough idea these numbers will not be exact but it's just a quick way if you don't want to do like the calculator way and figure out what your profit margin should be this is a great way for you to just punch in numbers ahead of time and see okay at a glance I know what these will bring in so I don't really use it I still just mark everything up 50% and hope for the best but all right here's what I do use every single second it feels like all right boom this is the good stuff right here this is what I use and some of you who have a better spreadsheet use your damn spreadsheet man don't 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 cry about my spreadsheet all right this is what I use and I feel good about it right now and I'm sure that will evolve and I will either change it or I will move on to another spreadsheet in the future but right now this is great there's also a guy who sent me a spreadsheet that I'm supposed to test out that's supposed to be like way cool as hell but I haven't even looked at it yet because I've just been too busy um, for all I know that could be like OP spreadsheet I don't know but here's what I do whenever I get an order I'm actually gonna pull up an old order we're gonna go through it together and I'm gonna show you how I enter this stuff in okay let's do it boom order this is an actual order that I received for this product okay um, probably gonna blur out this information right here just because it's their personal address and stuff but this item has already been delivered I'm just gonna show you what I do all right pretend this says new order I pull up this window first thing I do is I copy their name from the shipping information and once you get used to this it's really fast and easy to do all right what I do is I type it in customer another thing that I do that I you know don't I guess it's not saved in here is I made that little section bigger I will come back here and since their name for their Facebook name and their um, username is different you're not gonna be able to see this but basically they have a different last name than what they put in the shipping address name I will copy that and then bring it in here also so that later if I do have to search I'm not thrown off by a name because sometimes I don't know if you guys have the experience some people will put in completely different stuff for shipping than they do on their Facebook name I've run into the issue where I wasn't able to find somebody's information and I really it would have been nice to have that so now I do it as a precaution okay what's next I mean of course you want to put in the date today's 3 27 21 that's what I do I also follow the examples if you want those are fake numbers but I am just showing you here, let's separate that I am just showing you exactly what I type in okay so for product URL you know what that means I am coming in here copying this and pasting it right there boom you do want to just paste that directly into the cell right there you don't want to go up here and do that okay delivered I changed this on the original tracking this used to not say delivered it said shipped I changed it to delivered so that when I get tracking I can come back here and here and type in yes or if it's delivered or it'll stay blank if it's not tracking is where I enter in tracking numbers now just so you know if I do get a TBA tracking number what do I do with OA genius and all that stuff I will type in the TBA tracking number you know I'll copy paste that in so whatever the hell the TBA tracking number is I will just kind of space slash space and then I will just paste in the FedEx tracking number that OA genius gives you so that way I know okay here's the real one and here's what I entered into Facebook so just so you know that's that cool or you just type in you know if it was like a UPS tracking number or a USPS tracking number I come in here and I do this and then I paste the tracking number and then I have that for my reference later cool so next is the listed price sweet we are gonna come back here 
listed $10, shipping is $6. We are gonna go back in here and type in 16, all right? Right now, because we haven't put in, in the Facebook fee, or the, yeah, it's just gonna assume that it's, the, it's gonna pay you 16 bucks. That's not true. 0.85 is what we, you know, the Facebook selling fee right here. 0.85, so we're gonna come in, type that in. This is what your payout should be once it's all said and done. All right, so what, what's it actually cost? 6.69 when you buy it. Boom, all right, goods tax collected. So this is like gonna be any sales tax you pay. So um, just because I'm not actually inputting an order right now, let's just say 6.99 times 0.075. Let's call it 52 cents, so 0.52. And then if there was any shipping, there's no shipping on this item because it is prime free shipping. Yep. So uh, we're not going to input any shipping. So this tells me the total cost of the item with tax was $7.51. The income we got off of that is $7.64, and that is a total of 50% profit. Now, one last thing I do, and I usually actually do it kind of first, was this line right here, order link. Later when you get tracking, the best way I found to input tracking for people is while you have this order pulled up, copy this link and just put it right there. Because later, watch, I'm gonna X out of this uh, Facebook window. Later, it's super nice because when I get tracking information, I can just come over here, pop that link up and it's gonna bring up the order right away. It's gonna bring up the order right away and then I can, boom put in tracking so that's what's really nice I really like that and that's just how I like to do stuff so that's really the spreadsheet I mean you do that over and over again what I love too is that you can just kind of tap this column where the income is and then down here under sum you can just see what your total profit for the month is um, you can also see what your average is your maximum minimum whatever cool so I make one of these per month. So what I'm doing is I will actually go in and change this to say like March or April or whatever. And then before it gets too out of hand, I will actually go in my drive and duplicate it. And if you're gonna do this on your desktop, you just gotta download it and use it as an Excel sheet, that's fine. Um, if you're gonna use it in drive, download it and then re-upload it to your own personal drive, unless there's a faster way to do it that I don't understand. Either way, this is my spreadsheet guys. I hope you love it. I like it super easy. One thing I didn't talk about just now is I also just put like what my card ends in so that if you're using multiple cards, you know, you can go back for accounting purposes and remember like, okay, yeah, that was purchased on this card, whatever. Sweet. Um, one last thing, if you run into a return, I mean, don't do returns. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> no, if you run into a return, I have come in um, on a few items and I will leave all this information here, but I will just delete the um, part of the income so that when I go check how much I've actually made, there's nothing there. Um, and so it won't actually add it up in that little sum down below. So that's pretty much it. Um, that link will be in the description for this spreadsheet. I hope you guys find it useful. I definitely did. Thank you to you who gave it to me. Um, they wanted to remain anonymous, but I appreciate it. It's helped me out a lot from the beginning when I was getting started. And I mean, hell, I'm still getting started. So um, if you guys haven't, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. I hope this helps you out and I will see you next time.